Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the Micro Super Cub from Hobby People. And now this thing is tiny. This is one of the smallest planes that I've ever flown, you know, that has actual like full three channel control um, and isn't one of those like ultralights, you know, like I, I did have the Mini Vapor, which was probably a little bit smaller than this. Um, but you know for a foamy like this you know i was expecting it to be a little bit more like the size of my uh, hobby zone cub but it is much smaller than that even and they call this uh you know front yard flyer so i mean it's definitely that i mean i could fly this around in front of my house no problem I and mean, it makes that area seem huge and it just uses um, magnetic actuators for the rudder and elevator control, but they are proportional, so you can, you know, you can give just as much elevator or rudder as you want. And it's just three channel, so all your control is in the tail here. You don't have any wing aileron controls, um, but it's it's really nice and flyable actually. Uh, you obviously are going to want it to be quite low wind. I mean, this thing is super small and light, so it's not going to be fighting wind. Uh, I think I flew it in maybe up to three mile an hour winds, maybe five at the worst, and that's going to be quite a handful. Um, so definitely want it to be super low wind or like in a gym, this thing would be awesome. Um, the battery is just incredibly tiny. Let's see if I can get that to focus in. A 35 milliamp hour battery and just super tiny little thing. Um, and it velcros on here and plugs in there but I, I found it'll be a little bit hard to plug in and then you know trying to push in push the plug in I kept worrying that I would you know push this board off of the foam or break something so a little bit awkward to plug in but not a huge big deal and then it comes with one spare prop and then this is your transmitter here and like I said it's it's three channels so you've just got throttle on the left and then you've got elevator and rudder control on the right to do your up and down and turning left and right um, and then it charges off the transmitter as well you've got a little door here and then your little charging cable comes out so that's that's all everything there that's all you get and so um, it takes about 40 minutes to charge off of this charger, off the transmitter, and then you get about nine minute flights, so pretty long flights considering this is only a 35 milliamp hour battery. Um, but you know, again, I mean, this thing is just so tiny and light, and then nine minutes is, you know, flying at like just over glide. You know, I was kind of keeping it slow and just giving it as, much, as little throttle as it needed to stay flying. Um, but this thing is capable of flips. You kind of have to get diving into it to get some speed going, but it can, it kind of gets to the top and then sort of just stalls over. It's not like a nice super loop, um, but it can do a flip. I did a couple in the uh, flight review that you'll see coming up here in a second. Um, oh, and it does want to climb a lot. It seems like, you know, the, the way it's, you know, made or whatever, the way the wings work, it, with throttle it really wants to climb and almost so much that it would kind of stall out sometimes or if you get a big gust it wants to nose up really bad uh, so I gave a lot of up elevator trim on mine to, to get a little more level and then you know when I do get a gust of wind the lift isn't too much and it's more manageable and it doesn't end up trying to stall out or something um, but yeah, I guess that's about all I've got to say about it. Oh, and there's there's no real LVC warning or anything. Like it doesn't pulse the motor when it's getting low or anything. Uh, so you kind of have to be prepared. It'll just die all of a sudden and you can just kind of glide it in for a landing. Um, but yeah, that's all I've got to say about it. So let's go check out the flight. All right, this is the flight review of the Hobby People Micro Super Cub. Super tiny little three channel plane with the uh, magnetic actuator um, servos there on the tail and rudder and it is pretty low wind out today so should be pretty flyable and don't need much room to take off so we'll just do it right here from the sidewalk oh fail let's try that again there we go and she likes to climb at full throttle so I tend to 
gives some, let me try to get it trimmed out, gives some up elevator to kind of try to level it out a little bit. There we go. So that's about half throttle flying right there. Kind of flies in a little bit of a high alpha mode. But it can fly pretty slow as you can see. Getting tossed around by the wind a little bit. But not too bad. Get a little more elevator still. It really wants to climb and then when it climbs too much it ends up stalling out. There we go. This thing's pretty cool though man. It's so small and very easy to fly in a small area like this, no problem at all. Kind of line it up. And it can kind of do a loop. It's sort of like a, a stall. Oop. Let me try that again. There we go. And loop. Oop, not really. Loop. There we go kind of have to dive into it, give it some speed, but it sort of just kind of stalls at the top of the loop and ends up sort of doing a backflip to finish the loop. It's not a very smooth loop, but it can do it. It's really the most fun just to kind of fly around just a little bit under half throttle, right around half throttle. That's what it needs to, to hold its lift, and then you can kind of just slowly glide it around. And Nice, slow, peaceful flying. Got a bit of a breeze, maybe five mile an hour at the top, so not a, not a wind fighter, that's for sure. It's just simply too small. But you can fly it outdoors. I don't have to be completely indoors. Just got to get a low wind day. I like this thing, though. Man. I think it's pretty cool. really easy to fly too and being a high wing plane with you know and only three channels it has self-leveling tendencies so it always wants to stay level after a turn it levels itself back out just really easy to fly I don't know if I'd say it's necessarily for beginners since it's you know it's gonna be pretty fragile and especially if you're trying to fly in any amount of wind you're gonna need a lot of pilot skill to just like there where the wind kind of catches it and you got to be ready to fight it so I mean unless you're flying in a gym I don't think this is really for beginners but certainly uh, you know somebody with some flying experience you could fly this no problem if you like flying in small areas around your house like I do this is definitely a good plane for that this thing can fly in a super small area Oh, just trying to get a little too fancy with it there. Let's do a little hand launch. Let's, uh, let's try some touch and goes. There we go. And it really likes to climb the you gotta be careful because then it wants to stall like that. fly slow though. I don't think it's quite as slow as like the night vapor um, just because it doesn't have as much wing lift but it can certainly fly slow.
<laughs> it's so neat. All right, well, I think that was a pretty good demo. Let's bring it in for a landing. Turn it around. Bring my line up here. Oh, that was a horrible landing. That's not going to do. Whoa. Let's, let's do one more go round. I got to get a better landing than that. That was pretty decent. Get out of my neighbor's way here. Thanks. All right, well, there we go. That's the uh, Hobby People Micro Super Cub Super Ultra Small Backyard Flyer. Pretty neat little thing. All right, we'll check the uh, video description for a price and purchase link. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.